hey, it looks like they've made great progress for the strike, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I appreciate you guys clicking that like button because that gets this report into more people's feed. So please help out and click like. All right, so today's Saturday, Variety just released an exclusive. I'm gonna include a link in the description to this YouTube video, so feel free to read the full article. But in essence, it talks about that last night, even though there was sort of a late night update that wasn't too informative, they worked late into the evening and they've already worked out this morning through virtual sessions and, and both sides have acknowledged that a strike would be crippling. Both sides have come to some agreement on the working conditions. So this is good, this is progress, this is what we wanna see. So, one of the uh, aspects is there used to be a 3% uh, rate increase for the first year and then 2.5% for the following years. That's now 3% per year, so they got the extra half a percent for all three years of the next contract. This deal is also expected to include 10 hours off between shifts called turnarounds. If you look back to my Friday's video I did at the start of the strike, you'll see what I'm talking about there with the minimum time needed between shifts. And they're also adding in apparently a 54 hour turnaround for the weekends. The union still wants uh, more done for lunch breaks. They want to see the low wages for streaming projects uh, addressed since, as I mentioned in that last video, you know, streaming projects have become pretty mainstream. And let's face it, these are bare minimum asks. They're not asking for the world here. I mean, 2.5% versus a 3% raise in the high inflationary environment we're in, or asking for simply 10 hours between the time you go home from work to the time you have to return. It's not like these folks are asking for gilded uh, you know, privileges here. Um, this is some basic, basic human rights worker stuff here. So I'm really glad they're pushing for it. It's important to remember that, you know, just because they come to agreement on it, it still needs to go to the union itself to vote on this. And like I said in that very first video, you know, there's still a chance people are in a fighting mood, but I'm hoping that enough concessions are made over today and tomorrow that come Monday, uh, there's an agreement to put it to vote that will postpone the strike. As long as there's a vote going to the members that will add a little bit of time and then hopefully they accept it, right? So we could be out of the woods, but we're not out of the woods yet. So stay tuned, keep watching this channel, and if I hear any updates, I'll post them out as far and loud as I possibly can. Let's hope for the best, everyone, and enjoy your weekend.